It was tough, yeah. For about two and a half years of my life, I didn't leave my room. <laughs> um, working, working with Alex, um, it, it, it was a great experience. Um, Alex is... Is that diplomatic, that statement? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> from everywhere, um, um, painting, um, like traditional painting, modern art, some modern art, um, concept artists, I mean there's some fantastic concept artists out there, um, and then, then you've got a comic strip illustrators who have done stuff in the past that people don't usually give them much credit for who are very good. They could probably walk into any other field outside of comics and be held as you know, something special. But uh, You mentioned Al Williamson. Yeah. Uh, yeah, until I met Al, he introduced me to Alex Raymond. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, that just kind of opened my, mm -hmm. just opened my whole world up. Uh, I just you know, thought this is just a whole different level of uh, draftsmanship and storytelling and um, the, the, the pages look so elegant and so beautiful, but he had to turn them around really quickly as well. Yeah. So that's when I started thinking, I've got to raise my game and start thinking along those lines because it, it, you always have to compromise when you draw comic strips. So I could always, I could render a piece as beautifully as I'd like, but always in the back of my mind know that I've got a deadline to me. So mm -hmm. um, it's trying to get that balance. Um, I try and put as much as I can within the time given. Um, and that's what I always felt looking at illustrators like Alex Raymond. He, he gave his all within the time given. You know, the, He put in as much information, much elegance, much beauty as he could in those pages. But yeah, I'm sure he felt he could have done a lot more. So. Well, I don't think we got much to complain with your work either. <laughs> How tough was it? <sighs> it was? It was tough, yeah. For about two and a half years of my life, I didn't leave my room. <laughs> um, working, working with Alex, um, it, it it was a great experience. Um, Alex is is that diplomatic that statement? Kind of. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, seriously, Alex. Alex is a fantastic artist, as everybody knows. Fantastic draftsman. You know, one of the best of our generation. And, um, but at the same time, where he knows he's pretty opinionated. But I always had a good relationship with Alex in regards to, I, I always, I always dealt with him on the same level. I didn't, yeah, put him on a pedestal, no. like a lot of people tend to do. And, uh, yeah, we'd have arguments and butt heads. Uh, at the same time, we both respected each other, uh, because, you know, of the work we did and um, of each other's opinions. So when we worked on justice, um, we knew how much information we wanted to put into that book. We knew that there's a lot of work um, that was going to be involved in putting what we had in our heads on the page. But uh, uh, um, I think it kind of worked out well. Um, 
you know, it was it was great, great project to work on in that respect. Um, and uh, a lot of people still look at that book as one of the best Justice League books ever. So, you know, I'm proud of that. time out. Um, I've, I've been working solidly for about 10 years now. And, mm -hmm. um, I started to get a lot of grey hairs and stuff, so I, start, I just need to, I want to take a little break for a while. Mm -hmm. Just kind of kick back and uh, relax for a few months, uh, try a few things. Um, it seems that the more popular you get, the less time you have to think about your own stuff. And uh, nice as it is being in demand by two big companies, you always have things in the back of your head, thinking maybe, you know, there's a lot of guys around you doing their own independent work and, you know, you know it would be nice to come up with some ideas with, you know, uh, a colleague and somebody who's, you know, uh, like-minded, very creative person themselves and, you know, see what they come up with. So, I'd like to think, uh, you know, in the very near future you might have something out mm -hmm. that, uh, may impress a lot of people.